So when I do a video explaining that someone being anonymous and claiming to be the head of or the boss at some business someplace that is in England, when I point out that a person not telling you enough details to find out whether or not they're full of shit, I, when I tell you that that doesn't mean anything, and them saying something completely opposing reality about how electromagnetic signals works is invalid, and me pointing out that someone claiming to work in the business department or head of Vodafone business unit between 2013 and 2015, all right? Yeah, someone said, well, who was him, all right? This is the trap I left. In the United Kingdom, anybody, almost anybody, all the, almost all the way down to a janitor, depending on the business you structured and the number of employees and whether or not you really need to have a lot of employees so that you can get a certain tax rating, in England, everybody who works at a business potentially could be put on a list of people who were employed there or worked there if they took on anything other than grunt work. Now, I want to point out something. Claiming a guy at a business unit for a large corporation knows something about technical stuff. What you're saying is the sales guy at the car shop knows about how to change out a, a, an oil filter. Maybe, right? Why would a sales guy... That's a sales department. Business to business sales. The business... The business unit at a large corporation or even a representative co company in England is not necessarily going to know jack shit about electronics, radio signals, or 5G. But okay, we'll go for that. You presumed that in the United Kingdom, someone claiming to be a head honcho or a boss in the United Kingdom wouldn't be listed on their mandatory public disclosure forms for a corporation's location in England. Yes or no, was it an anonymous person claiming to be the head of that location? If you say so, all right, how do we check this? You can call them, then I give the phone number. We can also use the fact that the United Kingdom's laws requires public disclosure. Vodafone House, The Connection, that's the name of the business park. Newberry, Berkshire, RG14, 2FN, originally registered in England under number 1833679 on the 7th of March, 1988, as Shohai Limited Company. Company director from 2013 to 2016 was a guy who's Italian and is now 52 years old, named Diego Galli. Now, I dare you to post this information underneath the video and ask, where's his Italian accent? I've just been waiting for someone to ask me a question. Now, the reason I know about this is that I had some asshat who claimed to run a company at one time in England who was trying to blackmail me and a dozen other people who made the absolutely bombastically stupid mistake of updating his data with his actual address and still threatening us. So I forwarded the information about him doing it and the fact that he claimed to run that company and the fact that he was listed very clearly on their data records and that he was born in July, not saying the exact date, 1957. So I know how to trudge through these files. It's not really difficult. You have to find the address and then you find the phone number. What was the phone number for the company? Yeah. What was the address? Did it have more than one address? Find out people who have names that are similar to figure out that it's a tiny company. In tiny companies, usually relatives will show up and play secretary or director to cycle it in and out, or change company names, or, or make a new company over here and sell all the assets so they can escape uh, tax records or something. It doesn't work because I will traverse, for that particular nitwit, 480 different fucking filings to find out who is threatening to have me hurt. But this guy didn't do anything wrong. He's just the guy who was actually... <clears throat> the company director during the period of time you're asking about. So shall we acknowledge the little bit of handiwork I've done? No, because you like your little bullshit meme about 5G being cancer-causing, and you don't give a shit about facts, right? Reiko, thank you for posting that, qua that wonderful question. You've won the booby prize today, but you ain't going to get no booby. I'm keeping my shirt on. Yeah, in the United Kingdom, they list that shit. Now, originally, this person on audio only claimed, you guys ignored it, that he just said he worked there during this period of time. And people said he was the CEO, but the CEO of Vodafone is a completely different person, and that's not him. Well, who would work there as the head? Okay, the head of the business department. 
the head of the business unit at that location. That's not the business unit. That's the other thing I didn't bring up. It's not the business unit. The business unit is five or six employees, as stated on their own records on another page, five or six sales guy who do business to business cold calling. That's the business unit. They're just salespeople. This is like consulting with the idiot on the phone saying, hi there, I've been calling you. I have to call you up and see if you'd like to, you know, buy some Amway. He knows how Amway works. Yeah, that actually works better because those people are actually just part of a pyramid scheme. They have to know how it works. But this is literally like walking into um, a company selling nuts and bolts and asking them, how do, you put, how do you put the threads on the bolts? And if it's a sales guy, they don't know. This person is claiming to be somebody important in a position where they wouldn't know what they're talking about. But if you want to know who they're impersonating, it's an Italian guy or a little bit older than me, Diego Galli. Does that sound like your guy on the recording? No? Then it's a lying little shit on YouTube again. Imagine that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.